Good morning, Good. Titans. Today is Wednesday, September 19th. And this is Oli TV. Picture retakes will be Monday, Monday, September 24th before school and during lunch in the alumni room. You're required to get your picture taken for school ID and yearbooks. If you're interested in joining careers in the health industry, come join HOSA. The first meeting is Thursday after school in room 210. The Olympus yearbook staffs are holding a photo contest for students. Photographers, the first place winner in each category will receive a $25 gift card. Submissions due Thursday, September 27th. See Ms. Bliss or over the flyers posted in the hallways today. During lunch, there will be a, an FCCLA meeting in Ms. Murr's room. Officers and members are invited. There will also be free waffles. DECA meeting in, Ms., in Mr. Healy's room during lunch today. If you want to join, come with us. Sterling Scholar applications are due this Friday at 2.10 to Mrs. Nate or the department chair. The Olympus football program is pleased to announce this year's football program, featuring profiles of the seniors and a page dedicated to OLE-TV. Football programs will be available starting Friday at the game. Programs will be a $5 suggested donation to purchase. Have you ever felt really sketched out or unsafe on school property? I think we've all been there. This video shows the importance of feeling secure in a learning environment. Preston interviewed Ben Peters, the principal of one of our neighboring schools, Howard R. Driggs. Yeah, so we do a lot of things in Granite School District to keep our students safe. Um, some of the things that we do, we have drills that we practice every month. So we practice seven fire drills during the year. We also practice a lockdown with cover drill. Um, we also make sure that we practice a shelter in place drill as well as an earthquake drill. Uh, um, could you explain the uh, distinction between a shelter in place and a lockdown drill? Absolutely Preston. So when we do a shelter in place that means there is a threat um, that's near our campus but not on our campus. So that means that um, we bring everybody inside our school building, outside doors remain locked, uh, no one's going to be able to come into our building. Um, and school kind of goes on as normal. And then with a lockdown with cover, um, that means there is a direct threat uh, to our campus and it is on our campus uh, or coming to our campus. So that means that we stop school as, as it's going. Uh, we take cover in our classrooms and then we make sure that uh, everyone's being quiet and, and kind of in, in hiding at that point. Mm -hmm. Are there any changes that you would like to see implemented that are not being implemented? Um, one of the biggest things uh, that I think is really important um, in light of recent current events um, with school shootings and, and other threats to schools is that we make sure uh, we as administrators are communicating to our staff so that way our staff knows exactly what to do, um, whether we're practicing for a drill or if there was an actual emergency that's going on, um, that that happens seamlessly. Are there any challenges that an elementary school faces um, in spite of challenges that a junior high or high school may face? Hmm. I think uh, one of the things that we, we always want to make sure is that we're identifying every person that comes onto our campus and we're making sure that everybody that comes to our campus uh, not only feels welcome but that way they're checking into the main office and we know exactly who's on our campus and, and how long they've been there and what time they're planning on leaving. So similar to uh, when you go to a place of business, um, say a movie theater, we have the uh, corral. Corral! That, that's the <laughs> word I was looking for. That corral kind of directs people right into our main office, um, and then all the other exterior doors to our building remain locked. Uh, only staff can get in with their security badges um, in and out of the building that way. So with that corral, it kind of forces all of our patrons, um, when they visit our campus, to come right into our main office. They have to sign in. Um, if they're checking out a student, we check that student's uh, family ID card if we, 
and then uh, we have them sign out their student. Um, if they're here to visit, we have them state their purpose. We have them sign in before we give them a visitor ID badge. What exactly is a family ID card? Uh, not, did I say family ID card? If I did, um, I shouldn't have said that. Uh, I should I should have said their registration card. Oh, yes. So their their school registration card is what um, that student's uh, parent or guardians would have filled out uh, at the beginning of the school year. Mm -hmm. That way, uh, there's a list of folks um, that are allowed to check out that student. Okay. Do you have that on file, or are they required to present it? Nope. Uh, we keep that student registration card. We keep all of them for our 614 students uh, in three binders right behind the uh, front office secretary's desk, Mrs. Sargent's desk, and then her, myself, or Ms. Holly, whoever's in the office, we can check those cards very easily because they're all alphabetically ordered. Hmm. And uh, do you lock certain entrances uh, versus keeping only a few strategic entrances open? The only doors that are open uh, to patrons would be the front two doors in our school, mm -hmm. right here on the right-hand side. All the other uh, building doors are locked. Okay. Oh, thanks. This, yeah. is, this is great. Yeah. You're welcome, Preston. Yeah. This year's Agora was a blast. Here to show you some highlights is a video compilation by Anna. Now for the weather with Preston. So beginning today, the temperature is going to be a nice 81 degrees, and I assure you, outside will not be as frozen as my news package, and tomorrow will cool down a bit to 75 degrees, but the next three days won't really deviate from today's temperature. Also, a hurricane of massive proportions has landed on the East Coast, causing massive flooding in North and South Carolina. Back to you guys. Thanks, Preston. That is that is it for the news today at Titans. Have a good day.